Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back. No, what? what do you mean I welcome don't back? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I start my video game channel. Uh, sorry, videos. <laughs> welcome. That's hey guys, awesome. welcome. Um, so I follow the H3 podcast, and they had a guest recently. Um, his name is Mark Reese. He's a um a water sommelier what is i don't know how to say it i don't know how to say it sommelier whatever the people that drink wines you know they taste the wines but he is was the first water sommelier in the world and there's only like four in the u.s that are certified to do this and like 250 in the world so the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to waters so a lot of people that saw that podcast and have been following his social media uh, are starting to do like water tests and I've always liked, you know, trying out new foods, uh, sushi, my first sushi experience was really good, um, eating like a rare steak, fancy meals, you know, I, I'll, I'll try everything once, even in Japan, I tried a lot of stuff I wouldn't eat. Mm. So I wanted to see what the whole deal with the waters was about. Um, so he advocates for always checking the sources of your waters when you go buy bottled water at the store um if you're buying water that's labeled um process um what is it called um purified purified water yeah if it's purified water that means it's just tap water that the company has filtered and then they've added their own stuff um uh, for marketing for example smart water it says it's purified with osmosis or whatever all those things don't mean anything if it's just as purified it's mean it means it's tap water that has been filtered stripped off all the good and bad stuff and then the company has added electrolytes and stuff um to to market it as being uh full of electrolytes it's in not regulated um industry in the u.s so they could be adding one electrolyte and then claiming it has electrolytes. So that's why it's important to always look at the label and make sure it's a natural source. Um, so all these right here uh, that I've gathered from Target and one from a leftover party that we had, um, these are all naturally sourced. So these have natural uh, minerals, vitamins, electrolytes, um, and nothing has been stripped out of them. Um, the only thing that has been added to a couple of them is carbon dioxide um, for sparkling purposes. Um, so yeah, we're going to give these a try. I'm really curious to know if they taste differently. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, so an, a, a way to understand if they're going to, like what kind of flavors they have is to look at their TDS levels, which is total dissolved solids. And that's just how many minerals, um, vitamins, electrolytes, the source has dissolved into the water uh, over the years. So the higher the TDS, the different flavor, the stronger flavor it will have. Um, for example, oh, the ocean has 35,000 uh, milligrams per liter of TDS. So these right here range from about 1,100 uh, TDS levels to I think the lowest one might be this one but I couldn't this might range in the hundreds I couldn't find an official uh, result for that but I think it's like a hundred according to what I saw um, Polar Springs has like 30 to 70 uh, le uh, TDS level so yeah so I think we should save this one for last the Pellegrino because it's the strongest one and we should start with the lowest one, which is this one, Crystal, Crystal okay. Geyser. I don't know where this one came from, but um, okay. So this one is natural alpine spring water. Um, let's see the source. It says bottled at the CGR spring near the Ossipee Mountains at CG Roxanne, Maltonboro, New Hampshire. So this was probably brought by your brother. <laughs> uh, this is from New Hampshire. It's a natural spring water. So it's good for you. It's got natural electrolytes, vitamins, and whatnot. So we'll try okay. this test. 
And these are all at uh, room temperature, which is what Mark says is the best so that you can actually taste the difference. And we, so... we don't have to do that. <laughs> it's not like wine, it's just water. Okay. Cheers. Just cheers. This is the first one. Tastes like water. Yeah, it tastes like water. <laughs> I didn't expect anything like special about this one, but okay. So if you're buying, you know, big packages of water, this is a good option because it's natural. Uh, not a good option is the BJ's brand, whatever that is. All right, so nothing special about that one. Then we got liquid death. Liquid death. This one is just the natural one without carbon dioxide. This is mountain water, drinking water from the Alps. I'm trying to see if it has a source here. Bottled at source. Frankenmarker, Marketer, yeah, Austria. Oh. So this is from Austria. Okay. I've seen a lot of people. Drink this one online, Liquid Death. Apparently it's pretty good. So Liquid Death has, oh, oops, drinking? yeah, I put a little too much on there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, Liquid Death has a TTS of, again, this is another one I couldn't find uh, actual test results, but people were claiming between 170 and 240. So sort of double of what we just had. Oh. Yeah, you can taste you can the taste difference. <laughs> See, it's, you know what Mark says? Mark says water is not just water. Mm. So you can definitely taste it's the like, difference. Like, I don't so, know, is like it saltier? Sweeter? Oh. <laughs> he, he also says that <laughs> the, the, it, different waters will taste differently to people, but um, it definitely has a difference between the first one. Yeah, you can like it's like a flavor almost. Like it has more flavor than. Yep. And it's like thicker like I feel like it's hmm. I don't know this one was like it was just it was just water it's really yeah, smooth just water but yeah. this one has like a, a denser flavor I don't know more yeah. complex yeah hmm. interesting it almost like doesn't taste like water see hmm. pretty interesting right hmm. okay that was nice that was interesting <laughs> You want to try this? Well, we're going to try the sparkling one. It's going to be the one. same one, but carbonated. Yeah, carbonated. Okay, so about carbonation. Um, you can get natural waters with carbonation added to them. Um, I don't know what source has naturally carbonated water, but Mark says there are a couple sources in the world where the, wa the spring water is, is naturally carbonated. But I don't think any of these bottles are naturally carbonated. I think the that CO2 has been added to them. But we'll give this a try. I read on the website, trying not to wake up the baby. Uh -huh. I heard on the website that this one, um, they try to make it as carbonated as beer so that uh -huh. you get the, that experience of drinking beer, but it's just water. It should be the same TDS level. So. Same taste as that one? Yeah. But so I don't expect it to taste too differently. Oh man. <gasps> the burn. The burn from the CO2. <laughs> wow, it that's burns some... though. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah. Does it make the taste like? It doesn't. Stronger? I, I don't know. Feels like it's saltier than the regular kind. Oh, the burn is bothering me. <laughs> the sparkle, sorry, the sparkle. All right, yeah, basically. I like it though. If you like sparkling water, it's probably it's okay. Good. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Sorry, you have to finish that cup now. <sighs> okay, so that was Liquid Death at two, 170 mm -hmm. to 240. So let's try the Fiji one, which is 222. 
This is actually the oh. official uh -huh. TDS level. Fiji water from the islands of Fiji. Natural artesian water? Art, art, yeah. Artisan? Artesian. I don't know. No, it's artesian. So this is bottle at the source. Source is Fiji Islands. So this is legit. This is a good option to buy when you're at the store. So, um, like at a gas station or something like that. Total dissolved solids. This actually says it on the bottle. 222 and, huh. uh, milligrams per liter. Natural electrolytes and minerals. Give Fiji water its soft, smooth taste. Yeah. Huh. So they're actually putting that on the label. They know what they're doing. This is a good option. Let's see if we actually taste the softness and smoothness. Fiji water. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Doesn't taste like anything, really. Tastes like water. <laughs> it does have like a a smoother taste, though. Yeah. This is liquid death was saltier. Yeah, or like, I don't add more taste to it. It's good though. I want it more. I think it still had some carbon dioxide water yeah. from before. That's it. So it doesn't taste too salty or anything like that, but it is smooth. It is smooth. I think it's better than it's this better one. It's better than that one, yeah. yeah. But n not a lot of flavor, but it's it's just smooth. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Clean water. I like that one. Next up, we have... Let's see. We'll go with uh, Flow. This one I found it at Target. It oh, says... Alkaline spring water. Yeah, we're going higher. So this one is at 319. So about 100 milligrams uh, per liter TDS higher than, than Fiji. From Canada. Right. This is... It says, I mean, it's from Canada. Source. Protected spring located in South Bruce County, Ontario. Ontario? Ontario. Ontario. Oh, actually... Yeah. So I'm wrong. This actually has it on the bottle. TDS oh. is 3... 133 online it i found 319 but this actually has it on the label right here wow and it says the electrolytes where does it say that oh yeah it's got the uh, electrolytes and all the minerals so there again another company that's actually proud of what they're doing all right pretty sweet let's try this one natural electrolytes and minerals Product of Canada. Mindful hydration. That's what Mark was saying that when you are buying these at the store, you try to find um, natural source uh, springs water, natural sources for water because they'll hydrate you better than the tap water. Because of the electrolytes? Because of electrolytes, yeah, minerals, vitamins, uh, uh, it's actually providing hydration. Tap water is not bad. He says tap water is totally fine. But if you're at the store buying something, oh. why buy tap water? You know, that's what he's against. He doesn't even try those. All right, what is this? Mm -hmm. Flow. Right here. Hmm. Yeah, you can taste the difference. The difference, yeah. It's not as smooth. Yeah, it's not as smooth. Yeah. Huh. I don't like the flavor too much. It's got a stronger flavor, but... It, yeah, but it's... Mm. I mean, the Fiji tastes better. 
Yeah, the, the Fiji tastes the best, I think. I've liked the Fiji the most so far. Mm-hmm. This one, yeah, it's got like an aftertaste. I don't know. Yeah, something weird. It's not bad, but it's got a different you can taste. taste it. <laughs> I kind of want to say like it's, earthy. I mean, it's alkaline. I kind of want to say like it's like an earthy flavor. Like I don't know. You're definitely tasting something in there. Mm-hmm. It's not as clean as the Fiji one. Right. It did have a higher TDS level, so more dissolved solids in it. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So flow. What do we got left? The Perrier yeah. and Pellegrino. So we'll try Perrier. This, I'm pretty sure this is pretty popular. This is carbonated, so they've added the CO2. Water capture at the source in France. So this is from France. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to is pronounce it pronounced that. it's Perrier? Yeah, it's Perrier. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's in France, but I'm not gonna pronounce it. Yeah, they also have 2019. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that when it was uh, bottled? I don't know. Yeah. Ingredients: mineral, mineral water, and carbon dioxide. Okay. That's it. Oh. That's it. Yeah. They don't list the TDS, but what was it? So uh, I got online 475. So we've gone. Double from Fiji. I'm curious to see how this tastes against the liquid death mm. that was sparkling. That's it, that's it, that's it. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Doesn't taste like. I don't feel like it tastes like much. Nope. No, it definitely tastes like something. It tastes like something, but... But not like that. It's smoother. It's smoother. It's smoother yeah, than the liquid death. Yeah. Um, but it does have a, that, like, a taste, a different taste. Oh, yeah, that's that's good, but, um... Yeah. It's good, but it's, it's carbonated, so it kind of, mm-hmm. you know, tricks your palate or not, but... But yeah, that's that's good. It's a little smoother. It's it's smoother than the liquid smoother death carbonated one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad. If you like sparkling water. I like sparkling water, so I think I'd rate. I think I'm so far. It's Fiji and then Perrier for me. Okay. Um. Let's get this out of here. And the last one, last but not least. Pellegrino. Got Pellegrino. This is the one that they claim over here in the bottle. Where did it say that like restaurants use it and whatnot? <laughs> this is from Italy. Bottled at the source. San Pellegrino. Termie. I don't know. Italy. Sparkling natural mineral water. Natural mineral water with natural CO2 added. I don't know what natural CO2 is, but they've Mm -hmm. added CO2. Mm -hmm. Bark of Italy. Okay. Yeah, where did I say that? Oh, right here, yeah. This is uh, since 1899. It's an icon of Italy, Italian lifestyle, and one of the world's most renowned sparkling natural mineral waters. (laughs) Appreciated by sommeliers... (laughs) <laughs> and top chefs. That's what I read earlier. <laughs> With its gentle bubbles and perfect mineral balance, it inspires you to savor you to savor life and to enhance every moment. Surf chilled. Surf chilled. Well, we're drinking at room temperature. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing he said. Like if, like sometimes. Like cokes and set stuff say like serve it chilled like best cold. It's because you don't want to drink a cold uh, room temperature Coca Cola. 
because of because it's like very strong flavor so drinking something chill might like numb your your tongue so you taste it less that's why he said but that's why he likes drinking them at room temperature all right pellegrino here we go this is also sparkling this has a tds of 1109 according to online it doesn't say it on the bottle so this is definitely the strongest one we have here. I don't think it says it on the bottle. Carbonated mineral water. It actually has a best before date too. So oh. I did see that on some bottles uh, that he was showing on the podcast. Yeah. Is that, what's the, per, like... Like I think this is the date, the date it might have been packaged, yeah, or the lot the date, yeah. Okay, guys, so last one. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a strong flavor. Yeah. But it's good. That's good yeah very strong i don't know like salty but sweet yeah. I, and the burn isn't the burn bad, isn't that bad right? the burn is very smooth yeah mm. yeah so good oh yeah you can definitely tell this is the highest tds because it it's like it's got flavor it. added <laughs> It's got flavor added for sure. That's that's a good sparkling water. That's, good. <laughs> that's why it's uh, liked by, by top chefs. <laughs> mm. Shout out to my KJ's uh, mug mug club, 2016. Okay, so <laughs> that's the end of this tasting. I gotta go pee now but uh yeah so well, he's right water is not just water they mm -hmm. definitely have different flavors so this was mostly picked up at target i'm kind of curious to see what other stores offer and yeah i'll be keeping an eye out for more stuff we might we'll be drinking more water we'll be drinking more water <laughs> more videos coming up so yeah always remember uh water's not just water look for natural source stuff it'll keep you hydrated better and tap water is okay if you're having it at home. Okay, guys, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.